What is going on guys? Welcome back to another Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee Wi-Fi battle. Today I built a pretty fun team that I think we're going to have a good time with. I really just brought some stuff that I think might be fun to play with. Who knows if it's going to be the best team or not, but uh, we're about to figure it out. So we're going to hop in Pikachu, Pikachu, Pikachu and see if we can find an opponent here. So I will cut to when we get somebody. Alright, so the player has been found and we're going to go through a little team rundown here to show you what we're, what we're working with. So first of all, I brought an Alolan Muck, and the reason for that is a lot of the time on this ladder we're probably going to run across Mewtwo's and things like that. Overall, Muck just does a good job of kind of checking a lot of the big threats in this, so... Uh, next up we have Starmie, because we out here repping the Colorado Rapid Spins, you know how we do. Uh, and then we have a regular Golem. I decided to bring this thing because Donut is my freaking boy, and we brought that for Stealth Rock. It's a good defense wall, and it also has Explosion, so that could be kind of fun, but... Uh, next up we got the one and only Frostitute. I brought Jinx, just because I freaking love Jinx, and we can try to get some uh, some lovely kiss sweeps going with Calm Mind, uh, Ice Beam, and Psychic. Next up, we have Rapidash, which is just a Pokemon that's honestly pretty overlooked. I felt like uh, we could use a Fire-type, and why not just have Rapidash, because that could be kind of fun. And then last but not least, we have got the, uh, the Poliwrath, which is another Pokemon that does great at checking a lot of the big... Uh, a lot of the big threats in this, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, select that, and let's see what our opponent is working with. So, alright. Looks like a pretty interesting team here. We do see the partner Eevee, which is kind of scary. And then there is a Venusaur, Charizard, and a Blastoise. So, looking like uh, why, I don't know why we, you would bring all three starters. Potential in-game team? Who knows? Uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and write these down, so that way... I don't know, I feel like I do better when I take the physical notes. Okay, and then there's also a Dragonite. So... Interesting team here. Let's see how we can do. So, they're probably going to expect me to lead off with Golem, which is pretty obvious. So, they might go Blastoise or Venusaur. Um, so, I think... You know what? I think if we go... I think if we lead Frostitute and try to get off a Lovely Kiss turn one, that could be that could be kind of nice. Also, the name Napalm for Rapidash. Shouts out to my boy Superblock. Came up with that nickname. I saw it on Twitter, and I was like, I got to use that. So, <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get into it. So, Ruby here... You gotta be kind of scared when you see people running the, uh, the partner, like, starters. So we see that, we see that Eevee. I'm not really sure what the hell they even do. They have all sorts of crazy-ass moves these things can run, but... Let's see if we're prepared for it. So, I'm gonna go ahead and lead with the... Okay, just going straight for the partner Eevee. As, uh, we lead Prostitute. So, I know these things get, like, some weird priority moves, but we're gonna sleep. We're just gonna go right for a lovely kiss. Let's try to go ahead and smooch this thing. Right, it's adorable hat as we do actually connect, so we are able to put this thing to sleep early, and that is great. Because now we can either start setting up cop mines. They don't have a whole lot for Jinx, to be honest. I think we should probably let's go for a cop mine. We're out here setting up early. Jinx is doing the damn thing. So we get that mine nice and calm. I wish that Jinx had access to nasty plot and I don't think it actually does, but Calm Mind's pretty nice because we get that special defense boost as well. Um, so I think we're probably just going to stop at 1. I don't want this thing to wake up. Let's just go right for a nice little... Uh, let's go for Ice Beam. Look at Jinx's weird ass face. Okay, so that plus 1 Ice Beam should do quite a bit to you, Eevee. Yeah, he's able to live it. Actually wakes up and it goes for a Sizzly Slide. <laughs> the hell even... Oh my god, okay. That did a lot. A, and it burns us. Guaranteed burn? What the hell? <laughs> Well, so that sucks. That's going to go ahead and limit what Frostitute can do here. Um, this thing probably has some crazy-ass priority move, which is annoying. But we're just going to click Ice Beam again and see what happens. Okay, actually switches out, so... This burn is going to be quite annoying. The Charizard comes in. Unfortunately, we don't have the rocks up, so we're not able to knock this thing down to half right from the switch in. Uh, but the Ice Beam does do quite a bit. It's going to be an easy one hit or two-hit KO as we actually get the Freeze on it. Which, wow, we would get the Freeze. Prostitute shows no mercy. <laughs> We're just going to go ahead and finish this thing off. The freeze really does not matter because we would have been faster anyway. And that is going to go ahead and knock out that Charizard. So, pretty much sacks off the Charizard. We do get a critical hit the second time, which is kind of funny. But, alright, so... Freeze was kind of funny there. We do have one more attack left in us. This burn is quite annoying. The sizzly slide, or slide, or whatever the hell that thing went for. You're Eevee. You're weird. Okay. So, that Raichu is named Jolteon. Okay. <laughs> okay. Interesting. We're just going to go right for an Ice Beam here. 
And uh, we do outspeed. Frosted 2 is out here just taking names. And that's going to knock that thing right out. So down goes the Raichu. We were able to take care of both the Charizard, the Raichu, and we were able to do a lot to that Eevee. So Frosted 2 from the start out here getting shit done. So now we have an empty battle field here. Um, I'm probably going to go... It depends. We won't go Donut because he does still have the Venusaur and the Blastoise. I think we should probably go... Let's go Napalm. We out here bringing the fire. Let's hope that he decides to go uh, Venusaur, maybe? Well, this is kind of a, a toss-up here. He does go Venusaur. <laughs> All right. Well, then. That is perfect. Now we can pretty much freely just go ahead and click Drill or uh, Flare Blitz. Well, it depends on... If you get, well, he does have two easy switches into a Flare Blitz. So, you know what? We're going to... Let's just click it. Screw it. We out here playing it safe as he does switch or she and is going to bring in this Dragonite. So that's kind of bad for us, although we do have an easy switch into this. We'll go right into probably gold, depending on what kind of Dragonite we're working with here. Okay, so we get a little bit of damage there, which is nice, and we will need to switch out here. Um, I don't have Ice Punch on Polyrath, which is annoying. I do have Starmie, which can hit hard with an Ice Beam, um, but... You know, Starmie could probably switch in and take an attack, depending on what this thing wants to go for. <clears throat> I'm expecting probably to see, like, Earthquake here. Not really sure what this Dragonite wants to do. Luckily, we don't have to worry about Dragon Dance, so that's something. But we'll bring in Starmie here. As, oh, it's just going to Dragon Tail. So that's going to stir things up a little bit. Does uh, round half to us, and then it's going to switch into something random, which it's going to bring in back, back in the damn Rapidash. Shit, okay, well... I feel like he's probably going to do that again. You know what? We're going to will o -Wisp you then. If that's the case, we're going to go ahead and get a nice little burn on you. Uh, so now your physical attack is nice and halved. And uh, let's hope that it Dragon Tails here to switch us out. Okay, this time it actually Thunderbolts. So this Dragonite's got quite the moveset. Quite random. Okay. <clears throat> so with that burn, we don't have to worry about its physical attacks. I think we should probably just switch. Let's go into fucking... We're going into Donut. We out here making random switches here. What is this Dragonite going to do? Is it probably... Is it going to Dragon Tail again this time? I don't know why you would... Thund well, Thunderbolt's just to use a special attack so that way it doesn't suffer from the attack. And it is going to Dragon Tail again. If this brings me back into Rapidash, so help me God. Don't you do it. Yeah, it brings in Polyrath. Okay, so that's actually decent. Um, <clears throat> Polyrath is really not too scared of his team. He does have that Venusaur. Unfortunately, we don't have freaking Ice Punch. Uh, but we'll just click Rock Slide here. As would probably, okay, yeah, I was expecting the switch into the Venusaur, but we get the Rock Slide off, unfortunately, does not quite knock this thing out, and that allows him to get off another Dragon Tail, so this thing is just out here stirring shit up. <laughs> and that's gonna bring in, this time, it's Starmie, alright. So, that's what we, that's what we needed initially, and Starmie does really well against the rest of his team, or her team, if it's a, if it's a girl, I don't know, but a lot of the time, guys would be out here choosing female characters, but... Um, so Starmie does well because if he switches into Blastoise, we can just Thunderbolt, um, which, you know what, we'll just, we'll probably just Ice Beam here. Just to see kind of what happens, that is going to be a dead Dragonite. And so all that is left is the Venusaur, the Blastoise, and the Eevee. So we have Psychic for the Venusaur, although we don't really want to take a drain from that thing. And uh, the Eevee could pull out some weird, crazy stuff. I don't know. I feel like you get an advantage if you play freaking Let's Go Eevee. That thing has just got all sorts of crazy shit it can do. But all right. So here's the Venusaur. That full health, we don't really want to try to Psychic it just yet, uh, which means we should probably switch. We're going to go... We're going to go Napalm. It's going to switch right into the Rapidash. If this thing sleep powders, that's probably the worst case scenario, but we'll see what ends up happening here. All right, Rapidash. It's going to actually just pedal dance, so... Interesting. We are able to easily live that. The good thing about it locking itself into pedal dance is that we can now... It can't actually switch out, and then we can just go ahead and Flare Blitz. So that's going to do a lot. Feel the Napalm rain upon you. And that is going to be a dead Venusaur. <clears throat> so down goes the Vena, and all that's left is the Eevee and the Blastoise. So we actually kill ourselves with the recoil, which is a sad day. But... Um, we do have some stuff pretty fit to handle that Blastoise. We'll just go right into 
Our buddy Muck here hasn't had any time to shine yet, so we'll bring in the old, the old Play-Doh, Pile of Sludge. He ugly as hell, as in comes freaking Forest again, so we can just finish you off, we'll just go for a Poison Jab. Uh, this thing's probably going to go, okay, goes for Batty Bad, which I have no idea what the hell that's going to do to me. What status are you going to give me? What, what does that do? Hello? Stronger against physical moves. Oh, okay, that actually sets up like a Reflect, which is very interesting. So the Eevee go does go down, although Batty Bad gives you a Reflect after you use it, so... That was interesting. I put, I probably would have gone for the move that burns me, but cool to see Batty Bad, I guess. <laughs> that's well, that's something. Okay, so now here we have the Blastoise. I'm probably just going to go ahead and, well, you know what? Let, yeah, let's just click Poison Jab. I, I was going to Toxic it, but it doesn't really matter at this point, as we do still have uh, Starmie, which can take care of this thing with a Thunderbolt. So we'll just Poison Jab to get as much damage as possible as this thing Mega Evolves. Brings out the old big-ass cannons, and it's going to protect. So... Okay. Out here just wasting your own reflect turns, man. It doesn't really... I don't know why you would protect. Okay. But he gets the mega up, and it's got that big-ass cannon. So we're just going to continue to mash poison jab here. As this thing doesn't have much that it can do uh, to Alolan Muck. It misses the hydro pump there, which is kind of nice. Uh, not too big of a deal, as we're pretty damn specially defensive. And we don't get the poison there. But he's probably just going to go ahead and click hydro pump again here. Oh, is this time he's actually going to ice beam. All right. That's fine. That's totally fine. Muck be eating that shit up <laughs> very nicely. And uh, we can just continue to finish off this match here as uh, we've got quite a bit to handle this thing. We do get the poison, which is uh, just going to make our lives a little bit easier. Going to make this battle go by a little quicker as that poison actually does. It seems like it did a lot. I could switch into Starmie, but uh, we're going to go ahead and play it safe here as he's going to go for a Hydro Pump. Why the hell does Blastoise shoot the Hydro Pump out of his forehead when he's got a perfectly good cannon right there? I don't, I don't understand. We are able to live that because Muck is an absolute specially defensive beast. And uh, looking like one more turn of poison jabs is going to do the trick as the reflect wears off. So that is going to pretty much be the end of the battle here as we will uh, take an ice beam. Unfortunately, Plato goes down. So we're going to finish it off 3 to 0. And uh, fun stuff. Nice little warm up match we got going there. As the poison is doing its thing, does not really matter. All I've got to do is send in whoever I decide to go. Okay, we'll just go. We'll just go Rick. Polymath is actually a pretty good check to uh, Blastoise, Mega Blastoise as well. But we'll just go right into Starmie, spin around a little bit rapidly, and then we'll finish you off with a Thunderbolt. So, fun stuff. We were able to catch the win on the first match there. And uh, since that was actually a relatively quick one, let's go ahead and uh, let's find ourselves another one. So, GG's there team actually worked out quite a bit there and uh all right so let's go ahead we're not going to rematch obviously let's go ahead and find somebody uh somebody else so i'll probably just cut to when we get uh, another opponent here and yeah, let's see uh let's see how this works out see if we can get the team to go 2-0 how about that all right so we got another opponent here let's go ahead and keep the ball rolling we're going to use the same team and see how we can do it here all right so, they actually have another interesting team here. So we're going to go ahead and write this down. First off is Rhydon, and then we have a Parasect. And Parasect could be annoying because of Spore. A lot of the time, uh, you play against people here who aren't going by uh, Sleep Claws, so they're going to probably put freaking everything to sleep. So that could make our lives pretty annoying. Next is a Kingler, a Gera, and a Jolteon. So what are the odds we get two in a row where people aren't using OP shit like Mewtwo? Wow, crazy. All right. So, um, we're probably going to expect right on lead. Uh, next option would probably be uh, maybe the Gyarados just to get the Mega off. But I think we should go. I, I would like to get my Stealth Rock up. If that thing, if that Garrett doesn't Mega Evolve early, we'll be able to catch it switching in on rocks uh, with the still. Well, it's still got flying types, so that could be kind of nice. The rocks are going to be pretty useful here uh, against like the Parasect, the Arcanine. Gyarados doesn't really like it. I think he'll probably either lead. Right on our Gyarados. If it's Gyarados, we're going to be kind of screwed. But we do have an easy switch in with Polyrath. So I think we should pro our best bet's probably just to go uh, with Young Donut. And we'll see how this goes. We out here ready. All right. Confirm. Let's do it. Battle number two. Hopefully we can get this team to work again. All right. Hayden and Bolt. 
Bolt is out here just watching, not on the team, unfortunately, but great spectator. <laughs> his name is Pikachu's name is no Ubers, bitch. That is amazing. Yes, this guy knows. This guy knows the vision. Okay, so he's actually going to lead Kingler, which uh, is a great lead against our Golem here. So that kind of sucks. We don't have a lot that we can do to this Kingler. We could switch in. We could switch in Starmie, uh, which I think is probably our best bet here. Frogger just doesn't have a whole lot that I can hit it with. Um, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and switch into Starmie directly. If it decides to go for... I don't know if these things even get access to, like, x Scissor. Uh, if it does, that's going to be pretty bad if it goes for the x Scissor here. Which I think we can actually take at least one of them. As it's going to Agility. So, oh shit. The Agility Kingler has arrived. And, uh... This thing's scary. Well, so now it's faster. And, dude, this Kingler's actually a threat to us. We're going to click Thunderbolt here. I was thinking Agility is probably the only setup this thing gets. I don't know if it gets Swords Dance, actually. It probably does. But Agility Kingler. A fast Kingler is a scary Kingler. And uh, we're about to see... Oh, he's actually going to switch right out. So he doesn't want to mess around with the Agility, as he's going to go right into the Jolteon here, which is a nice play. He knows that he's probably not able to knock me out. As uh, we do get a Thunderbolt off on the Jolteon. Does not have Volt Absorb, because no abilities. And uh, we actually get a critical hit there. So we do need to conserve our Starmie. It's a great answer to that Kingler. And we should probably just switch right back into Donut, I think is our best option here. As it might... So Volt Switch is not a thing in this game, which is kind of a bummer, but... I think these things get access to U-Turn. He might end up double switching here, expecting Golem to come in, but I think it's our safest play. So, that's what we're gonna do. Bring in the old Donut, as it's actually gonna set up a Reflect. So, okay. We got the screens on the Jolteon, which is interesting. And this is nice, because this guy actually knows what he's doing. So, uh, let's go ahead and just click Stealth Rock here. We would definitely benefit from getting those up so we'll see what he decides what he decides to do here Jolteon does not have much that it can do to me he'll probably end up switching back into the Kingler or potentially Gyarados um, he's also got that Parasect which probably doesn't really like to come in on a potential rock side okay so he's actually gonna go Gyarados so that's actually smart he gets this thing in before the stealth rock happens and uh, that is kind of a bummer for us but we do get the rocks up which is nice Gonna help out quite a bit there. So, okay, so we do want to save Donut here. This thing does pretty well against his team. Um, let's go ahead and switch into our answer for Mega Gyarados, which is gonna be this Polyrath. So we'll bring in Young Frogger. This thing is gonna Mega Evolve. He doesn't have really any other. Yeah, he doesn't have any other options for Megas on his team. So we are gonna see the Mega Gyarados here, which is one of the scariest Megas ever. But Polyrath is actually one of the best answers to this thing, like in the game. So. Polly comes in. We resist everything this thing can hit us with, as uh, it is obviously going to react to the old Keystone. And that is going to be an angry shrimp. He is now extremely pissed off. Not as, as, as if he wasn't mad enough earlier. Okay, so he's just going to go right for the waterfall. He's going to get a little bit of damage there. Okay. And now we do pretty much have to... Well, let's see. What's he going to bring in here? Uh, the Jolteon could potentially come in. Uh, he could also bring in that Parasect. Um, which, if we catch that thing with a rock slide, that would be amazing. I think we're gonna go, I think we're just gonna click low kick, low kick, but then again, he's probably gonna switch. He can't go into Rhydon, he can't go into Arcanine, he can't go, yeah, he could go Kingler, but he doesn't have much to hit us with, so. Hmm. I think we're just gonna click low kick here, we're gonna play it safe, and just gonna get that nice little stab fighting move here. As he's actually just gonna stay in and goes for the Earthquake, so I'm very glad I didn't over predict there. Um, we are able to live the Earthquake, and then we can hit this thing really hard with a low kick. Although, that did not hit quite hard enough, as it does... Ugh, less than half. So, well, maybe low kick wasn't the best option to put on this on this Polyrath. I thought that was going to do more, damn it. Well, it goes for one more Earthquake. It is going to knock us out, unfortunately. Frogger was only able to do half to this damn Gyarados. I should have tossed a different fighting move on this. It's because of the fucking Reflect, though. I forgot about the Reflect. How did I forget about the Reflect? That's why I stayed in. That was an obvious stay in because of the damn reflect. Well, so this isn't too good. Um, we don't have a lot for freaking Gyarados here. Um, we might just have to go Frostitute and try to lovely kiss it. I think that might be what we need to do. But then we just don't have much to hit it with. That, or we go Starmie. Although I just kind of need Starmie. Damn it, this is bad. Could go Napalm and go for the Megahorn. Which I think does knock it out of his health. 
Rapidash is not all that useful for the rest of his team. So, you know, we're going to go Rapidash. We're going to try to hit this thing with a fucking Mega Horn. I don't think it's going to be able to knock it out, but at least Rapidash isn't all that useful for this matchup. It would be nice for the Parasect, but you know what? We're just going to click Mega Horn and hope for the best here. Come on, Rapidash. Don't miss. Yes, we don't miss. Thank God. And the Mega Horn. Oh, it just barely lives it. Damn it. And this Waterfall is going to knock us out. Shit. Would have been really nice to get that KO with that Mega Horn. Hot damn. Well, Napalm goes down. Sorry about that, Rapidash. You tried your best, buddy. Well, this Gyarados is an absolute threat. And now we've got to... Uh... Starmie does very well against his team. Other than Jolteon. So, I think we got to go Starmie here. He's probably just going to let this Gyarados go down because it can't switch back into Rock. So, I think he's going he's gonna to go into Jolteon next turn. We're going to need to switch into... Um, donuts probably. We also have Play-Doh as well for it, so. We will just go ahead and click Thunderbolts here. Uh, this Gyarados is going to go down. So at least we take care of the Gyarados, but man, that thing, that thing did a number to our team. And uh, that is not good news. Not good news. We lost our Polyrath, lost our Rapidash, which was a very fast attacker, which would have done well against a lot. But Starmie is kind of our win condition here. Uh, it does well against Rhydon. Um, Arcanine, it can knock out the Kingler with a Thunderbolt. Okay, so he does just go right back into the Jolteon, which is expected. And this thing might actually end up just going for more screens, light screen or reflect. Uh, we're going to end up switching. We're going to go right into Donut here, which is really the only thing we've got. Um, Jolteon does not have much for it, but if he ends up double switching here into the Kingler, we're going to be we're going to be pretty screwed. Seeing as that Kingler is a pretty big threat to us. So, okay, he is actually just going to end up reflecting. We gotta remember that this damn Reflect is up this time. Shit. Okay. So let's see here. I think I'm probably just gonna go for an Earthquake. As we'll probably end up going into Kingler here. I could explode. Expl explosion might be nice. But then again, we do kinda wanna save Donut just for this Jolteon. So we'll just go right for an Earthquake just to play it safe. And yeah, we'll see what old pointy, pointy boy Jolteon's gonna do to us here. here. Taking a minute. This man is thinking. Thinking nice and hard. What's up with like the floating cubes and shit? Why is there why are there random floating shapes? Hello? Got the Poke Stop in the background. Okay, so he's really out here using this timer. We have about half the ma half the timer left. And he still has five Pokemon to go. This could be scurry. Is he out here timer stalling me or what? Jeez, okay, so he is gonna switch. He is gonna bring in the Rhydon actually. Okay. I'm assuming he'll probably want to get up rocks here. Um, he's going to take this Earthquake with no problem at all, because this thing's defensive as hell. I'm glad I didn't click Explosion there. That could have been bad. And okay, it actually, Earthquake did do a little bit there. Not bad. Probably going to set up Stealth Rock as... Maybe we should go Frosted too. Hmm... Yeah, I think we're gonna we're gonna switch into Jinx here because we'll probably set up Stealth Rock. We can get this thing in before the rocks come, and I would would go Starmie, but I think Starmie's too important. We're gonna try to save Starmie as long as possible. So, oh, we actually just Earthquakes. Okay, and that knocks that knocks out Jinx immediately. Why wouldn't he rock? Why wouldn't he Stealth Rock there? He Earthquaked on my Golem, which is a very interesting play. Well, okay, so. <laughs> Did not expect him to Earthquake on the Golem slot. That wouldn't have done a lot. I could have just stayed in and gone for two more Earthquakes. It would have knocked out his right on, but well. We're just going to bring in Starmie then, and he is forced to switch here. So he'll probably go... We're just going to click Scald. So he is going to switch. Might go Parasect. Nope, okay, just going back into Jolteon. So this thing is racking up the Stealth Rock damage. Scald is not quite going to be able to knock this thing out. And, uh, can we have burn, please? Yes, we get the burn. All right. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. It probably brings this thing in because that way, because the reflect is going to wear off soon, and he'll probably get that back up. We're going to go back into Donut. We have no reason to go Alolan Muck here. Golem is an easy switch in here. He might actually predict this. We've done this twice. He might end up going Kingler here. Nope, he just Thunderbolts. All right, Donut. Perfect. Perfect, buddy. 
All right, so the Reflect is going to wear off here. He will be able to get that up before he dies, which is annoying as hell. But at least that's going to be the last time he'll be able to get up a Reflect. So that's Oh, he's actually going to Light Screen this time. Okay, he Light Screens because of the fact that Starmie is actually his biggest worry here. So he gets the Light Screen up, so now he's doing good against special attacks. The good news is about in this generation, there's no Light Clay, so it actually is not able to have the screens up for five or for eight turns. It's only going to be there for five, so... We've got to kind of try to hang out here for long enough for that light screen to wear off, so that way Starmie can come in and kind of do its thing. So, in comes the Kingler. And this thing is scary. It does not have... Ooh, I think it's going to agility here. I think we got to explode. I think we're going to click explosion here. Fuck it. It's going to probably agility. Oh, no, it just crab hammers. Damn it. Okay, well, that's going to knock us out. Uh, if, it, if it agility there, we would have had an, a nice explosion. It would have been would have been great. But unfortunately, we do not, and I need to go into Play-Doh now. There's no other choice. Starmie can't do enough with Thunderbolt, although I don't think it has much. Oh, no, it has the X scissor, probably. Well, okay. All right, Play-Doh, let's do it, buddy. Let's go ahead and... Uh, he has that ride on, so... That's what we're worried about, is that ride on. Should we make the prediction and go... Starmie here? I think we're kind of forced to. We're going to go ahead. We're going to switch into Starmie, expecting the Rhydon to come in. Yep, he is going to switch. Okay. Oh, he goes Parasect? Why would you go Parasect here? Hello? Okay, well, we get the Stealth Rock damage. Interesting he decided to go Parasect, because a Poison Jab would have been great there. Making some incorrect plays, damn it. Okay, well, Starmie... Does not have much to do to that thing. We're just going to go right back into Play-Doh. I really wish that... Well, maybe he predicted me to... Maybe that was like a, a double layer prediction. This man might have just a, an amazing play there. Expected me to double switch into Starmie. And we only have eight minutes left on the match time, so... It's coming down to it. The, ref, the light screen's going to wear off soon, which is nice. It's very nice. Alright, so yeah, we got to go back into Muck. Uh, this thing's just going to spore and be annoying as shit, though. Parasect, I don't think we're going to be able to have a, even a, enough time to do anything to this Parasect, dude. I really wish I would have just clicked Poison Jab there. Come on. Well, so we're asleep. That is quite annoying. Is this thing going to, like, substitute? What are you going to do? Okay, so we are faster. Yep, it's going to sub. All right, so it's a sub spore set. And probably lead seed. So we're kind of screwed here. There's nothing I can really do against this Parasect at this point. I can break its sub, but then all of a sudden it just, it's just going to spore me back to sleep. Although, if he doesn't spore this turn, we're actually kind of good. We get the Poison Jab. We got an early wake up there. That was great. We get rid of that. He's probably going to Leech Seed here, which is the safest bet. As, oh, it's going to Leech Life, actually. Okay. So he's going to get some pretty good health back there. Uh, we are faster, so we can actually go for a Poison Jab here, but I don't think it's going to be enough to knock it out, though. That's the only thing. This damn shiny Parasect, man. Fucking zombie crab. We'll see what happens here. Does the Poison Jab KO here? Oh, he's actually going to end up switching, so he's going to go to the Rhydon. Yep, there's the damn Rhydon. Well. So with six minutes left, is there... Is the dream alive? That is the question. Okay, Poison Jab does nothing. Can we get the Poison, please? Nope. That's fine. Okay, he'll probably just EQ here. But Starmie can take at least one of them. We have to switch into Starmie here. I believe, yeah, we have to switch into Starmie. With six minutes left, it's coming right down to it. Hot damn. Oh, he Mega Horns! He makes the play. Oh, but we live it with three HP. Holy fucking shit. No way. How? He made a great play there and went for that Mega Horn. Now we're able to just Scald and kill this Rhydon. So now he's got Parasect, Arcanine, and Kingler left. Which, being able to live that Mega Horn was huge. If he had Stealth Rock up, we would have been destroyed there. But my god, we lived it with 3 HP. This is intense. Even the dog next door is going crazy. Okay, so in comes the Kingler. This thing's probably... Oh no, it's got too much health. It's got too much. Do I have to go Play-Doh here? I don't think I can take two Crab Hammers. I think I have to just stay in a Thunderbolt. That's the, that's a bummer. 
Yeah, we'll just stay in here, go for the T-Bolt. This thing just has too much health here. Oh, no, nobody lives it. Or it dies. I thought it was going to live it. Kingler goes down. Holy shit, I thought Kingler was thicker than that. Holy shit. Well, that knocks it out. All that's left now is the Parasect and the Arcanine. And we have five minutes left in the match time. Holy shit. Dude, that Mega Horn live was insane. Okay, in comes... In comes the Parasect. It's going to take a lot from the Stealth Rock. It knocks it down to half. And I have Ice Beam. So we... Dude, Starmie just has so much coverage. This thing is amazing. My draft team mascot cannot be stopped. Ice Beam's gonna take care of the Parasect. All that's left is the Arcanine now, and it's gonna take a lot from the Stealth Rock damage. And uh, I don't know if Mach will be able to live in attack from it. It's the only thing. Okay, so in comes the Arcanine. Thank God we have the rocks up, though. And uh, it all comes down to this. This is actually... An insanely close match. We'll just go ahead and click Scald. It will be able to live. Just barely. No. And it's going to go for the play rough. Okay. So, I think actually a, a fucking Flare Blitz is going to knock itself out here. If that's that, that's the best option it has against Muck. I don't think it's going to be able to knock us out here. Alolan Muck might be able to do it. Your opponent's weak, Muck. You can do it, buddy. All right, we'll go ahead and uh, click Poison Jab. And does this, how can I get fucking, what are you gonna do, buddy? You yeah, out here communicating. What are you communicating for, friend? I cannot believe that Megahorn live. That was a great play on his end, expecting the Starmie to come in. The Megahorn prediction, though. All right, so this man is really thinking about it. He's probably, He's gonna go for the superpower, okay. Muck is able to live it because we are thick as hell. And a poison jab is gonna knock out the Arcanine. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is gonna be the end of the match and that was intense. My God. <laughs> Starmie is way too clutch. Great match though, carry on. Karian, whatever your name is. We're able to win it 1-0. And that was pretty damn exciting. Well. Thank you guys for watching. That's going to be the end of the session here. If you enjoyed, I really appreciate it. If you could click, click that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy these Wi-Fi battles. I'll try to get some more of these up soon. And uh, yeah, that was pretty damn fun. I'm surprised that team worked out as well as it did. Well, guys, like I said, thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Peace out.